Babu is a hard working farmer and today he is going to harvest the crop that he has nurtured over the past few months he has spent a lot of time money and sweat to ensure that it is a bumper harvest this season he stores the precious crop in a shed made of simple wooden sheet metal the first block fetches him a handsome price making his buyers and him extremely happy with the yield babu is now thinking of expanding his wings by exporting the produce in a couple of months he realizes that the quality of the crop seems to be declining when he takes the second block to sell in the market he could get only half the price than before the bad quality crops are now getting noticed and price keeps getting lower by the day babu has to even throw away some of the produce as he cannot sell it any more babu now wonders what has gone wrong in such a short time babu has been using a dirty sickle and hoe he does not dry the produce stores the crops in a shed made of simple wooden sheet metal the quality of seeds adds to his woes and this leads to post harvest losses Suresh is a trader who buys crops from farmers like Babu to sell to customers. He is an expert and has been procuring good quality crops from farmers at a fair price. But these days it is becoming harder and harder to find good quality crop. Also, before selling the procured crop to customers, Suresh needs to process and package the stock. He has been using this packing machine for a really long time. When he tries to sell the produce, it does not give him a good price. And with time, Suresh begins to struggle. With each passing day, the quality degrades further and he has to even throw away some of the bad quality crop. He begins to make losses. Suresh wonders, what is going wrong? How can an expert like him fail to get a fair price? Suresh has been receiving low quality produce. He has not focused to remove impurities from the crop. The packing machine used by him is old and unhygienic. A high level of moisture and lack of ventilation in the godown is adding to his problems. And this leads to post harvest losses. Ravi is a seller and he has bought some crops from Suresh to sell in the local market. He is experienced and in the past has managed to procure good quality crops at a reasonable price but lately he has begun to notice that the quality of the crops has been declining and if he is now offered crops of high quality they will cost him 5 times the price so he would also have to charge more from the customers this holiday season will generate a very high demand and with babu and suresh having to throw away a lot of the produce the reduced supply forces ravi to buy the already limited pool of low quality crops he tries to sell the crop at his usual 20% markup but bad quality cannot be hidden from customers they bargain for a much cheaper price and ravi realizes that this year he will not make any profits Prakash and Sunita go to the market every week for their grocery shopping. Ravi is their usual choice as he procures high quality produce. But this time they notice that the quality of the stock is not up to the mark. They look around for better quality crop and find that imported crops are priced beyond their budget. They have no choice but to buy from Ravi. At the dinner table Prakash and Sunita's family realize that the food does not taste as good as it used to be and later that night their daughter Suman falls sick post harvest loss has some really grave consequences low quality produce resource wastage loss of income for farmers traders and sellers and hunger this could have been prevented by proper post harvest management Had Babu used a clean sickle and hoe, dried his produce and stored it under proper conditions, used good quality seeds, he could have enjoyed the spoils of his hard work.
had Suresh removed the impurities, used a hygienic packaging machine and stored the produce in a ventilated godown, he could have made profits. And then Ravi would have had a good stock to sell to Prakash and Sunita. Post-harvest management is extremely crucial for the success of the farming industry.